All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the review table. Got some charging handles. But before we start talking about these guys right here, I just want to give a big shout out to all the guys on the Patreon. Thank you so much for your help because with uh, the donations from the Patreon guys, we're able to go ahead and pick up some bullets for reloading uh, in an effort, hopefully, to help get that six arc where it needs to be. We're almost there, hopefully. Uh, also, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. We are trying to build this thing up bigger than ever. So anyway, let's talk about this. The uh, What are we talking about? Yeah, the Pandemic Build Series. Pandemic. What, what does Pandemic mean to a gun owner? One, it means lack of, what do you call, ammunition. Number two, lack of firearms everywhere. Number three, if you're building ARs, man, there's... Their parts are coming back slowly but surely, but literally, you really got to be on the lookout for them. Now, uh, one of the things I was doing in the pandemic build series is I want to build a reasonable AR-15, not high-end, not necessarily uh, junk, but try to build something reasonably nice. Uh, a decorative piece, of maybe, that functions. You know what I'm talking about? So if you follow my channel any length of period of time, you know that I like these guys right here, the Radiant Raptor. I've got the LT version, and I got these right here. I absolutely love these things. The thing I like, you can see this guy has got some wear on it. But uh, one of the things I do like about it is that it is smooth, it is built, it is precise, and Unfortunately, for the guys over at Ra Radian Raptors, or Radian, uh, and I guess you could say this, uh, imitation is, uh, what is a flattery? Some you, you name this saying downstairs in the comment section. But uh, with being one of the best on the market, in my opinion, you are often imitated. Now, uh, a little while ago, I had this guy right here was sent to the channel. I've used it, actually, uh, from a company. And one of the things I asked them right off the bat because I, I saw it and I was like, wow, that looks really, really neat. That's almost identical to the uh, Radiant Raptor right here. And they went ahead and sent me uh, two of these things to review. And once I got it, I looked at it and I said, uh, I called them up. Actually, I emailed them. I said, where, where, where are these things made at? So one of the things when people ask me to review a product, the first thing I'm going to ask them is where is it made? Now, there's some things out there that are made in China. You're not going to get around it. We don't like to support China, but unfortunately, in where we are in today's society, hell, I'd say 95% of the things that you have, I have, and everything, we're, they're all made in China. Uh, but in any case, guess what? I'm pretty sure that this guy right here was made in China. I think the Daily Shooter did a review on this thing. Poor guy got hammered by people asking him where this was made from. So anyway, uh, yeah, this was made in China. Now, during the pandemic series, I saw a, a deal, because you're always having the deals flash up on you, classic firearms. Man, they're right next door to me. So I have actually never ordered anything. But I saw these, and they were on sale for $19.99. Or something like that and uh, I think a couple dollars in shipping but literally I, I gotta be honest with you two days later they were at my door which was pretty impressive now I will tell you this when I put this into an upper receiver let me show you and we're gonna be pulling this thing out later on it did not want to go into that receiver uh, and I had to jam it in there, and I think what was happening, actually, this, this thing was coming out down here below. Be careful when you're doing that. But anyway, it finally has worn in. This is a brand new stripped up receiver. By the way, we're going to be talking about this uh, handguard here in a little bit. Because this is pandemic by rifle week. <laughs> well, anyway, so here it is. You've got something that was $19. I think these are probably $19 to $36. I can't quite remember it. Uh, one of the guys, I believe you did get it right. I'm not mentioning any manufacturers here. Uh, but in any case, the difference here, uh, these, the stems here are all made of aluminum. Uh, the Radiant Raptor, this is made of aluminum. Unless it's the LT, then that's a polymer piece. Uh, th on this guy right here, these are made of steel, which if you hold it right here, uh, the center of balance is right there, and then you can see where the center of balance is on the Raptor. Uh, okay, and then this guy is like a featherweight. One of the guys said he thought he, his buddy had one that snapped in half. So, matter of fact, I'm looking to see if there's any bow in that thing. Sometimes there are. 
and actually, believe it or not, there is. So you can take it on a flat plate like this, and if it rocks back and forth, that means there's a bow in it. If you take this Radiant Raptor, there is no bow in it. And in this guy right here, there's no bow in it. So, yeah, the guy we got from Classic Firearms, she likes to rattle. All right, anyway, so let's look at the weight. We pulled out the old trusty scales here for a reason. Uh, first of all, the original deal, the Radiant Raptor. Let's go ahead and weigh that guy. 1.3 ounces. This is the other one that I can't remember who gave it to me. 2.1 ounces. Good grief. All right. Almost a whole ounce more. And then we've got this guy, 1.2 ounces. So this thing is almost a point ounce less than the Radiant Raptor. So anyway, what's the moral of the story here? You pay and you get something. Uh, yeah, I could take a look at that thing, and I'm not really happy about that. I guess it's so light I can actually bend it back. Hold on. Yep, we just went ahead and bend it back. So the guy who was talking about the thing snapping in half, yeah, that might end up happening to me. So anyway, the Pandemic Rifle Build. This is uh, part one or part two in the series. We kind of did an intro of it. But charging handles. I got four of these things for 20, 80 bucks delivered. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout. Guys, don't fall for these things. You can see the thickness right here. I will show you what they look like from head to toe. Right there. And my uh, main light here uh, lost the... Uh, the warm lights, I guess. I'm going to have to order a new one. That was $186. As you can see, you can see how rough the materials are here. And you can see the differences in the actual thickness in the uh, pool areas here and here. Now, one of the other items before we end it, this one, you can just... It, it, you can feel it, Grady. This one, it's, yeah, that's, it actually, it catches. But is this something I'm going to be using on a service rifle? No. Does it serve a purpose? It's okay. Would I rely on it for life or death? No. But then you got the Radiant Raptor, which is smooth as a baby's ass. So anyway, there you go. The real deal, the clone, and the wannabe right there. Go to Boy 32 guys, if y'all thought this was interesting, please let me know and uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Next up, we're going to talk about what's in this little box right here. Y'all be good. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.